This is the thickest beard I've ever grown. Hello everyone, Judah here. Today we're going to learn how to draw a fantasy scene in ink involving a princess and an ape-like thing. So let's get started. When I'm going to be drawing an ink, a scene in ink, the first thing I like to do is establish a perspective of the scene and just sort of bang out the basic forms and figures. I don't, I really don't focus on detail so much as just getting a general idea of what everything is going to look like. And then when I go back in and start inking, I start thinking about details a little bit more. But uh, as far as composition and knowing where things should be, your focal point, that is the, the things that your eyes are drawn to and all of that, really should be banged out with a pencil um, because you can erase if you don't like it and uh, you can kind of think through the scene overall from a bird's eye view instead of just making it up as you go. So straight away here you see me beginning to draw in ink. One of the things you really want to think about when starting in your ink is line thickness. Okay, so basically what I've discovered to make a scene look more realistic or more believable or whatever, the objects that are nearer to the viewer are going to be drawn with thicker lines, okay, and that way they sort of stand out more bold. And as items recede to the background, you can draw those with uh, thinner lines and using a pen that has a much thinner stroke. So keeping that in mind, what you don't want to do is start drawing stuff in the background with a very dark, thick, stroked pen because now what you've done is totally mess up your focal points and whatnot. So things that are thicker, the eyes will be drawn to more. Um, things that are thinner, obviously, you won't see as much or you won't see first. So um, one of the things I like to do as far as detail goes, um, I, I like to be more creative at this point, right? I sort of make up the textures and the line, um, just, just the little things that you see here. Um, how the trees are kind of winding together and um, the, the, here the structure that I'm drawing and, and whatnot. All of that um, I sort of make up as I go. And even as I'm adding detail, um, I didn't think about that detail in the first stages when I was drawing in pencil. That all comes as I begin to draw in ink. So if you're one of those people that draw a lot of detail first, you might consider drawing the basic forms first and then as you go back with your ink you can then add your detail. Hey thanks for watching this video. If this is the kind of thing that you would like to watch please press like or leave a comment and of course feel free to subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.